Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Richie and in today's video we are going to customize this. I guess it's called suit. So a few weeks ago I had a mental breakdown, as always, and so I went online shopping and then I saw this and it was on sale. So I bought it and then a few days later I tried it on, hated absolutely everything about it, then decided to take some pictures because I thought that maybe could make everything look better and then unfortunately I ended up hating it even more. And you know what? That can happen, but normally people would just return the things they don't like and call it a day. But since I'm not normal, I thought that I could use some paint to make it look presentable. And to be honest, I kind of like the result, but I still don't know if I'm ever going to wear it just because I'm not really leaving the house unless I really have to and if that's the case I'm not wearing this but you know maybe one day so anyway if you want to see how I did this all you have to do is keep on watching all right so I will try my best and explain what I did step by step but to be honest I have no idea you know normally before I start painting I do some sketches and I think about a general idea, I think about a way to make everything turn out the way I want, but this time I came up with an idea while I was painting. So it was a mess, as always. I am just a mess, that's the main issue. So I knew right at the beginning that I wanted to paint these weird looking faces, that used to be my thing. I used to paint this all the time. Especially in school, during class, on the desk. Not on a paper, no, 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 directly on the desk. Yeah, most of my teachers were not really happy about it, but you know what? Now I'm painting on fabric, so I don't know if that's even better. And so for the background, I thought about summer. I thought about the ocean. I thought about a fish, so I drew that. I thought about a sunset. And so eventually I came up with the final sketch. Unfortunately, I have not filmed this part where I was just sketching everything on the suit because once again, I had no idea what I was doing. And it was just a mess. But at the end, I was happy with the result and I thought it was finally time to start painting. Even though my mom walked in my room for absolutely no reason, as always, and then was like, Oh, are you ruining, <clears throat> I mean, painting this horrible suit? Uh, yes, it was on sale. Do you like the drawing? Um, I will tell you once it's done. So yeah, this conversation really, really helped my self-esteem, so thank you mom for that. But you know what? Now that everything is done, she's acting like she always believed in my vision. But I know the truth to this story. I know the truth. Now, normally I would recommend you to cover up the surface we are planning to paint on with at least one layer of white fabric paint because this will finally make sure that the other colors that we're going to put over the white base can really pop up and shine beautifully. But since the fabric of this painting is already quite light, I decided to skip this part. But if you want the colors of your painting to be vibrant, don't skip this part. And as always, do not use oil paint or only acrylic paint. You can use fabric paint or if you already have a lot of acrylic paint, you can use a fabric medium. And you can find all the products and tools I used in this video in the description box down below. Here comes the money! All right, so now that we clear that up, we can actually start painting, I promise. First, I used a small brush to paint all the details I wanted to turn red. So I started off with the woman's body, then the lips, the lines in the background, and some more details I wanted to paint red. I was basically just playing around, I was not really following any rules besides painting the sun yellow or the lips red or the ocean kind of blue. Well, not really, but you get the idea. Now, once I started using yellow paint, I regretted not having painted a white base layer because the light blue tone of the fabric was adding that green tint to the yellow color. And now listen, I like green. 
but let green be green and yellow has its own moment. But other than that, I was very happy with the result. And then I just needed to add some different blue tones to paint the ocean. And finally, to finish everything, I used a thin waterproof permanent marker to outline every detail. Now, initially, I also wanted to paint the trousers, but once I tried everything on, I decided not to do that because I don't want to look like a clown. So I decided that I was finally done. So that is it for today's video, I hope you liked it, if you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any time I upload a brand new video in the future. Anyway, I wish you all the best and I will see you next time, bye!